Hey guys, it's Michelle again. I'm really sorry about that. Again, this camera does that. Um, I did receive a new camera Joey got me for our anniversary. And I'll be honest with you, I'm still figuring that candle up. Candle. See where my mind is here, right? That camera out. I haven't fully um, finished playing with it. So we are switching to a new camera very soon. But um, for now, we're still doing old reliable-ish. Sort of reliable. Anyway. Um, on to the next. So that was it for the Bath and Body Works. So we'll, that'll just be part one of that. Next, um, I went to Victoria's Secret. Um, as you guys know, I've recently joined a gym. One of my New Year's resolution was to work more on my upper body and just toning certain areas. And um, I tried doing it at home. I do have workout equipment and stuff like that. And I noticed that I wasn't getting the results I wanted. Um, Mainly because there's certain machines that I just don't have room for. I don't have, um, you know, I just don't have those type of machines. And I feel like um, with the gym membership, because there are people there that can kind of point you in the right direction as to what you want to do and what your goals are, um, I think that it was the best decision to make. Um... So I'm really looking forward to it. We've only recently started within the past week or so. Um, my body's been very sore. Again, if this is a journey that um, you want me to vlog, please let me know. Um, again, for me personally, do I want to lose some weight? Yes, I wouldn't mind losing a few pounds. I personally would feel a little bit better about myself if I did that. Um, but that's not my main goal here. What I want is a healthy body. What I want is to tone. Um, I want to tone my arms, my legs. I just want to be able to have a fit, toned body that's um, just healthy. You know what I'm saying? And that those are part of my goals. So um, with that being said, I don't have a lot of clothing specifically for the gym. So I wanted to go and find some um pants because I have like a few pairs but I need at least one or two more just to get through like I want to do at least five days a week so I wanted at least one for five days a week I have I think three maybe four um so I'll have to do laundry obviously I mean I try doing laundry I don't I try to do laundry every few days so that it doesn't pile up because it drives me insane but um ideally I would like to have at least five pairs of um pants so um i looked at walmart and i wasn't happy with the quality for the price because these were actually on the same price as some of the walmart ones believe it or not so these were on clearance this is this this from victoria's secrets it was 20 29 dollars um it's just a really nice i don't know if you can see it says victoria sport across the butt they have them in white where you can actually see the wording. I really didn't care if they're, if you could see it or not. It's not like, you know, I really didn't care if you could see it or not. I really like the way the fabric is. It's just a really nice sweatpant. It's got this little cuff, little like elastic cuff on it. They're just sweatpants, which is what I wanted. It's got a little pull string. Perfect. Um, and I was very happy with that. I thought I was going to find um, better deals at Walmart, but for the price, the quality wasn't there. So I may go back, get another pair of these because I really was happy with them, um, with the quality of that. And I'm looking forward to working on those. Next, I went to Walmart again. Walmart, I went to mainly to find more pairs of pants and I was just not happy about it. I did find some other cute things though. First, this has nothing to do with working out or anything like that. Um, you guys know, I also like to collect, um, like the shows and movies that I watched growing up. This is no exception. I did buy one of the Easter ones last year. This one is the uh, is a three pack because there was two. I really don't care about the one in the middle. But uh, the other two I watched growing up. The middle one is Yogi the Easter Bear. I did watch Yogi growing up but he's not necessarily my favorite in this particular mix. The Easter Bunny is coming to town. That particular one is made by the same company that does Rudolph. Let's see if I can find... I always forget the name, and it's like... I like I, I'm embarrassed that I forgot the name, to be honest with you. Uh, Rank, Rankin... 
Bass Productions. I, I may be pronouncing it wrong, but I know you know what I'm talking about. And I love Rankin Bass Productions. I have quite a few of their other films. They even did like a Halloween one and stuff like that. Absolutely love it. And this one was absolutely adorable. I love that one. And there's not a lot of Easter ones, um, you know, shows and cartoons and stuff. I feel like with Easter that... There's two things with Easter time that I've noticed. Some parents just go all out and they treat it like another Christmas. We didn't in my household, and if I ever had children, I wouldn't personally either. We just had a little basket. We had maybe a DVD in there, some crayons, and just like outdoor activities like jump ropes and stuff like that, and a few pieces of candy, which was fun. And, um, of course, being raised Catholic, there was also, um, you know, Easter's about the... Um, coming back of Christ and all that stuff like that. But, um, you know, it was also a time where, because we, you know, family came together, we had a really nice meal, and it was just fun because it meant spring was coming. It was like a rebirth. At least that's how I saw it as a child. Because, um, you know, you know, the resurrection and with the Easter bunny, how it was explained to me as a child was, you know, you have the bunnies and you have tulips. You have all these things that are signs of spring that are coming out and they're all being born new because rabbits reproduce. So they're like, you know, everything's coming anew. So it's a new season, new time. Everything's fresh and young and beautiful. So um, that's why Easter has a special place in my heart because we're finally done with the cold and the winter and all that and the beautiful flowers are coming and, you know, it's getting warm out and you're seeing animals again. So I have a special place in my heart for Easter and special memories. So um, that's why I really love these movies. Now, the first Easter Bunny, this one... Um, I liked it too. Obviously, I love stop action animation more and um, claymation kind of thing, which is why I love like the Rudolph the Rake and Bass kind of stuff because that's what they pretty much are. I'm pretty sure that the first Easter Bunny is also created by them. I could very well be wrong on that. Oh, Hanna Barbara. Oh, I could see that. Okay, so that's made by Hanna Barbara. It's also a very cute one. There is one that I've been looking for for years and I can't find it. I don't remember the name. I remember like a song in it. It's about the Easter Bunny and he's like a, he runs this um, egg factory and the chickens lay the eggs and paint the eggs and he comes, gets the eggs and, you know, does his job. And the rab, uh, the chickens get mad at him and they end up going on like a strike. And it's really, I know it sounds kind of weird, but then you know, things ensue, and then he realizes he needs the chickens, and the chickens need him, and all this stuff happens. And But there's, like, this one song in the movie that always sat with me, and always, it, it makes me think of those happy memories as a child. And, like, the only phrase I remember is, when you wake up on Easter egg morning, it's the happiest day of the year. Does anybody else remember this cartoon? It was, like, a mini movie cartoon thing, but it was from the 90s. It was super cute. I can never find it anywhere. I've been looking for it on DVD for years. I can't find it. But I have everybody else from Easter now um, that I absolutely loved, except for that one, which I'm still looking for. So enough. I spent like three minutes on this. So let's move onward. Uh, but yeah, so I got that for those reasons. Next, I did buy a shirt um, to work out in. That was the main goal for this. Now I got it oversized because I just want it loose because I like that. It's this really pretty blue shirt with an anchor on it. It's got white sleeves. It's very sporty looking, but I'm just using it to work out in. I wanted something that was loose fitting with a long sleeve. This was just perfect. And this was, I think seven bucks, something along those lines. Yes, this was $7. So it wasn't horrible, but I feel like some of their clothes have gotten expensive. I found some really cute tank tops and they were like $12. I'm like, for a tank top, you are out of your mind. But for $7, I thought this was worth it. Like I said, um, I'd wear it over my um, sports bra, so it's super cute. Next, I found some things on clearance, which I was super excited about. They were $2 each initially. Again, I didn't have any... Wow, why did the lighting color get really weird? Anyway, um, initially, I... Until I, like, start seeing progress, I don't really want to buy any clothes. But this is something that I will use, and, um... They're just nice to have, especially for $2. I think they're normally about 5 So I got two. They're calling these things footless tights. Pretty much it's a legging. I don't know why they bother calling it footless tights. It's a legging. Pretty much what it is. So 
I got two and they're both fleece lined which they're not bad I do like the fleece line they do serve a purpose they're not my favorite either but I loved the patterns and for two dollars I couldn't pass it up so I got this black pair and I don't know if you could tell there is some silver stitching in here very pretty I figure I could use this a lot especially um for the holidays and stuff like that this is going to be a lot of fun to play with so I had to grab that one and this because I don't like doing black tops on top of black I've done it I have done it you guys have seen me do it but I also like to have a pop of color so with a nice black top I figured ooh, look at these these are a merlot colored one also fleece lined again they call they're calling them a footless tight it's still a legging as far as I'm concerned it feels like a legging it looks like a legging it smells like a legging it's a legging anyway <laughs> sorry but um, I think leggings and tights, they are closely related, but not exactly the same thing. Tights are normally thinner than this. This is definitely a legging material, but you know, who am I to judge? Now, last but certainly not least from Walmart, and I, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. These are just for around the house. These are going to be great for winter time when winter rolls around again. I pay $2 for these. Look at these. I know, they are uglier than sin but they are so soft on the inside this is like my favorite type of fleece I love it when blankets are made out of this my favorite I could bathe in it so for two dollars I thought these would be adorable especially like it's a cold night you're warm in front of the wood stove you just got out of a nice bath you want to have your glass of wine and put your feet up in these cute little minion slippers they're absolutely adorable. I couldn't pass them for two dollars. Look how cute! Bello! I love the minions. I know some people can't stand them, but um, for two dollars, I couldn't pass it up. Ooh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, these were six dollars originally, so that was a pretty good deal. Again, this isn't something I would normally want to pick up or grab. This is not my style, typically, as you guys know. But I figured for around the house, for the price. And they're super soft, which is one of my favorite things. I love super soft slippers. I have to have a something like that. Normally, they don't have the ankle thingy. The ones I get are just, just cut this part off. And it looks like that. Those are normally the kind of slippers I get. But for $2, they serve their purpose. And I'm super excited about it. Okay, it's getting a little long. So we will do the amazing crazy haul next so we're going to do a part three guys sorry about that but trust me it's going to be worth it for those makeup addicts out there michelle was bad but you're gonna love it you're gonna love it anyway i'll see you in the next one take care bye